Hi everyone, it's Dave Williams from the Catholic Education Office here in Wangaratta and today I just wanted to share with you how to set up this blue and green uh, chroma key screen that you'll be getting as part of the Languages Film Festival. Uh, it's a fantastic screen, it's nice and big, uh, it's 2.9 metres wide by 2.2 metres high. Uh, it's going to give you lots of scope for your chroma key projects both on iPad and uh, other cameras if you, if you have access to those. Um, the screen um, is portable, okay, it will fit into a little black bag like this and it took me, my first attempt at it, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to set it up. Uh, it could take a little bit longer uh, depending on how tall you are, I think height really helps by putting the, the screen up as well. So um, if you do find uh, putting the screen together or up a bit of a challenge then please reach out to myself or Grant uh, Fitzgerald and we'll be more than happy to come to your school and give you a hand to set the screen up. Uh, if you have any problems, please let us know, but uh, the rest of this video is all about how to unpack and then set the screen up. So if you have any more questions, please get in contact with us. We're always happy to help. All right, so I'll see you get this case uh, for the frame. So I'll just open that up. Now, there is quite a lot of uh, plastic that you need to take off initially, um, so I'll get through that in a moment. Um, so you've got a few pieces here. Um, okay, so you've also got the uh, green screen cloth, which is one side green, the other side blue. Um, it's purposely uh, designed to fit this frame. Um, there's no instructions at all in this whole setup either, so you get one little piece of paper with no real importance. Uh, so yeah, no instructions. Uh, but having said that, it is quite easy to set up. So uh, each piece will have a, a number that then corresponds to another end with the same number. So uh, just look for those and obviously join the matching numbers up together. So I'll go ahead, I'll remove all the plastic uh, and then we'll get started on to how to set the uh, green screen up. I'm when uh, taking the plastic off too, I sometimes just like to push it straight in. It might make that process a lot easier. You'll see that each piece has a hole and a little snap lock connector. And obviously you're just trying to line those up in the hole. And then you can pretty much slide the plastic off. And then just lay your pieces out on the ground. So now we have all the pieces, now it's just a matter of uh, finding the matching numbers and then putting it all together. So uh, there's no real process to this, so this is the first time I've done it as well, so I'll be learning with you. Uh, and let's see how it goes. So obviously we've got our two top and bottom pieces here, I'll just leave those there for the moment. Uh, they're the top round pieces. Obviously they're the feet. There's no number on those, so I'm assuming they can be left and right. Uh, and let's have a look. Let's maybe join the two round pieces together. Okay, so I can see this has got a three. So I now look for the matching piece. Okay, here it is. Right, so, Putting three into three, putting that there. So I'm assuming this piece will go at the other end into a two. Right. Yep. This must be the left on the side. So that's a one there. So this must be the middle piece. Let's just have a look. Yep, so that's a six there. So I'll just show you here. It goes in. Twist. Okay, so here's the standard feet on, and now it's just a matter of 
getting it from the, the top. And you can then lift up the stand like so. Now that you have the frame assembled, uh, you'll notice that there is a little bit of play in how the frame moves. It might, may seem a little bit flimsy, but once you put the fabric on, uh, it'll help really make that a lot stronger and sturdy. Uh, so uh, let's have a look at how to put the, the screen on. So you've got two sides, choose the side that works best for what you're filming. Uh, obviously unzip it and then find an opening. Now ideally this is probably best for two people to do this job and depending how often you do it, uh, you may find you just do this once and, and that's it. Uh, it is a bit of a process uh, and I do find it difficult for one person to do it. Um, you do need to be reasonably tall uh, to get this on. Um, there are other ways that you may be able to do it so if you find a more efficient way or an easier way to do it then please uh, feel free to shoot a video or let us know how to do that uh, so we can share it with the rest of the uh, group but uh, this is how I do it and I would say this is the best way or the only way uh, this is the way I do it. Okay, so we're just going to find the opening and flick it over like this and move it along. Now I use one of these uh, clips, uh, you can get them in packs of 10 from Bunnings for maybe 4 or 5 dollars uh, and they're really good just for um, helping to keep the, the cloth up on the post. Uh, you can obviously use other things but this is just what I've got available so I'm just going to move this right up to the top and just push some of that excess over the top of the frame and I'm just going to leave that there so it helps with some of the sag and let's just pull this across. Pull that down this side until you get to the corner, just here. Okay, then coming back over, just bringing what's left of this, this sag here, uh, back down the side. Both sides down until it gets to the bottom. Make sure it's pulled tight from the top. Even both sides out. Now you can have a zipper down the bottom here. You can zip that along and just give that a little bit more tightness across and stretch across the fabric. Uh, I, I find the Zip it a little bit problematic and it can be a bit hard to zip right across. But I'll let you play with that and explore how that works. But here we have the screen. You can see it's got a nice tight um, stretch. Obviously, if you had the zipper done, it would be even better. Uh, the lines will come out over time, or you could iron that if you wanted to. Um, I would try to resist from washing this, even though it can be washed. Um, try not to wash it at all. Uh, obviously, we'll change the colour and over time uh, will affect uh, how it can be keyed out on the, on the app or the computer. So, yeah, certainly don't wash it too much. Uh, and that's it. 